Why should your company culture match your company's brand? And are the two even related? By the end of this video, you're going to understand what the difference is between culture and brand and why the two are very related and need to be aligned for any organization. We like to think of your brand as an external manifestation of your culture and your culture as an internal manifestation of your brand. So how can you get the two aligned to help drive results? And how do you know when your brand and your culture are aligned? This video is all about decoding your brand and culture alignment so that you can drive results that make a difference for both your employees and your customers. Today, more than ever, organizations are expected to to take stances on social issues. In today's technology age, information is multi-directional. What that means is that Whereas in the past, information was top down, now with the advent of social media and all of the ways in which we can communicate about brands and culture on websites such as Glassdoor or LinkedIn, people are able to get a glimpse into an organization's culture and it reflects the brand that they have. That's why you see so many organizations taking a stance on social issues. Morality about global issues used to not be a conversation that executives needed to be involved in but today they do because employees and customers are expecting organizations to state what their values are when it comes to social issues. For example, in 2020, I was working with an architecture firm, one that had a large presence across multiple states. At that time, the Black Lives Matter movement was picking up steam. And one of the things that their employees noticed is that the firm's CEO had not made a statement about the company's position about Black Lives Matter. The silence spoke volumes to the employees. It created a culture in which people who were not white didn't feel welcome. They did not feel included because the silence of the CEO spoke to the position that he had and that if he supported the Black Lives Matter movement truly, he would have made a statement about it. I work with a lot of attorneys and they are saying that these days they're being asked not just how can I do something, but rather should I do something more than ever? The conversation has moved to morality and that's because what a company does internally to develop their culture can very easily become public information and then it reflects your brand. So in this video, we're going to talk about why it's so important to align your brand and your culture and also what you can do to create that alignment if it's not already there. This movement towards brand and culture alignment has been gaining a lot of steam in recent years. You're even starting to see some organizations that have created a new job, a job for an executive who is both the head of marketing in charge of the brand and the head of HR in charge of the culture, because these organizations understand that the brand you have will not be considered authentic if the culture doesn't reflect it. For example, in 2016, Wells Fargo had a reputation for being traditional and wholesome they had a long reputation of taking care of their customers. And in 2016, what became public information was some of the cutthroat sales tactics that they had used to incentivize their employees to create accounts under fraudulent pretenses. That resulted in $185 million in fines for Wells Fargo because those practices were unethical. They were anything but traditional and wholesome. The blow to Wells Fargo was much more substantial than that $185 million fine. It was the blow to their brand because they had an inauthentic brand. Their culture was clearly cutthroat and unethical, but the brand that they were pushing out was the opposite. And when the true reality of their business practices came to light, their reputation suffered and still has yet to recover all these years later. If you're interested in receiving tools on how you can cultivate the workplace culture that works for you, including how to ensure that it ties to your authentic brand, like this video and also subscribe to this channel. Unleash the power of your culture and to connect to your brand. 
So let's talk about how you can align your brand and your culture. The first thing that you'll notice when you click on any companies about us is they probably have their mission, their vision, and their values on there. Your mission, your vision, and your values are the why of the organization. It's why your company exists. And that is a rallying cry, not just for your employees, but for your customers as well. And so that is the first place where your brand and culture must be united. For example, Amazon's mission and purpose is to be the Earth's most customer-centric company in the world. So that is a purpose that speaks to both their brand and their workplace culture. It drives the behaviors that they want to see in the employees, and it drives their strategy to be able to be the most customer-centric organization on Earth. That mission alone is one of the things that drives the innovative culture that you see out of Amazon, and that is perpetuated within the organization as well as with its customers. One really important way to make sure that your brand and your culture are aligned is to be consistent in following through when there isn't an alignment within your organization. So for example, if your company says that it values work-life balance, but then you notice that the people who seem to get promoted are those who are working 12 and 13 hour days, you don't have brand and culture alignment because the things that are being said about what's important to that company are not the things that are actually being treated as important in the company's actions. That is why leadership is so critical in an organization's brand and culture, because it is the leaders who have to follow through and be accountable to what the stated culture and the stated brand are. The next way to ensure brand and culture alignment is through your stated cultural beliefs. Sometimes companies have organizational values, and those are similar to cultural beliefs, although they're less oriented around the actions that employees take. Cultural beliefs are the beliefs that we need need to hold in order to drive the actions and therefore the results that we want this organization to have. It drives the decisions that we make on a day-to-day -day basis, which affects the brand as well as the culture. So being clear about what those cultural beliefs are and then reinforcing and taking accountability for execution on those cultural beliefs will also help ensure that your brand and your culture are aligned. Finally, it is critical to gather feedback over and over and over again, continuously gathering feedback from your employees and your customers to ensure that there is continued alignment between brand and culture. You've heard about the customer experience and you've heard about the employee experience. Alignment of the customer experience and the employee experience together is one of the most critical ways to advance your organization. Gathering feedback from customers, either through surveys or through interviews and doing that with your employees will give you much needed insight into how you are being perceived. That perception is really a belief a cultural belief. And so that is why it is so critical to be gathering feedback, both externally and internally, to make sure that your culture is on track and your brand is on track. Because imagine what would happen if your brand and your culture were not aligned. What would happen is you would attract an employee to your organization who has heard about how great your organization is through the brand efforts that you've taken. And then when they join the company, they realize, that it was not true. What you're gonna get is an employee who leaves the organization quickly, and that turnover has cost you money. So in order to reduce your turnover and ensure that your employees are signing up for what they think they're signing up for, your brand and your culture need to be aligned. Here's an example. Southwest is famous for their loyalty to employees. That loyalty shows up in the kind of benefits that they have, in their resistance to engaging in mass layoffs and all other sorts of ways. One fun way is when Southwest employees are in flight, they sometimes tell jokes, sometimes they rap on the intercom. They are playful with the people on those flights and that affects the brand. That playfulness that is embraced by the organization's culture is actually something that affects the way that the brand is perceived. And that's the tricky thing about the global economy these days is that many of your employees are also your customers and many of your customers are potential future employees. Another reason why your brand and your culture must be aligned. If you're interested in learning more about how to create the best workplace culture for your organization to drive results and employee fulfillment, you can download a toolkit that we have along with some of the research we've done at gift.culture.io or you can click on the link below in the description.